assalamu alaikum students i welcome you all within this online lecture series we are continuing the topic uh, that is uh, topic from the organic chemistry that's carbon and its compounds uh, we have discussed uh, so many topics regarding this carbon and its compounds i am trying trying my level best rather to make you people understand the basic nitty gritty of this carbon and its compounds uh, that actually this will actually be very much helpful for you people in the class 11th i mean to in the next class that's why i'm try, i i can say i'm working through leaps and bounds for you people last time we were talking about one of the important topics uh, that this carbon its compound uh, do have that is uh, naming of carbon compounds or uh, i can say the naming of hydrocarbons uh, i told you people firstly let me recapitulate what we discussed in the last video lecture my dear students uh, how concentration towards me this very important topic uh, as far as this are you pack names or concern i told you people that iupac it's actually the international union of pure and applied chemistry that was actually uh, established in 1958 according to this iupac pack name an organic compound can have two names i can say whenever i talk about the nomenclature of the carbon compounds this nomenclature is also called as naming of the carbon compounds so i told you people in the last lecture that a child may be called as uh, for example sahil at home but his name in the school register may be jamil ahmed and all that uh, just as a moment of us we have two names same is the case with this one at home and another at school in the same way organic compounds do have two names my dear students mark my words what i am telling you my dear students organic compounds because the chemistry of carbon compounds is particularly i can say the holy or solely carbon compound chemistry is known as organic chemistry and because uh, we are actually uh, we are actually dealing with these organic compounds rather so that's why i am telling you people that organic compounds do have two names one is common name and another is official name and this official name is in accordance with this iupac what i'm telling you people that is official name official may, name means iupac name that's official name means or systematic name this official name or systematic name is uh, also called as iupac name this iupac name is actually international union of pure and applied chemistry my dear students so uh, last time i told you people that the moment you have to give names to the organic compounds that i told you that's why this is called as nomenclature of the carbon compounds my dear students firstly what you people have to do first that you people have to identify the number of organic compounds that means you have to identify the number of carbon atoms in a compound for example you people the moment you will see this organic compound you people firstly you people have to see how many carbon atoms this particular organic compound comprises of i mean to say so that's why the first thing you people have to see after seeing the uh, i can say this organic compound is that how many uh, carbon atoms this compound particular compound contains so the number of carbon atoms in a hydrocarbon is indicated by using the following stems i mean so following term for example for one a compound containing one carbon will be named as meth mark my students meth meth same is the case with this two carbon atoms are indicated by it it my dear students it so this three carbon atoms are indicated by prop and four carbon atoms are indicated uh, by but and five carbon atoms are indicated by the pent so one carbon atom the moment organic compound contains one carbon atom you people have to give this name meth meth means one carbon atom it is used for two carbon atoms 
Prop is used for three carbon atoms. Bit is used for four carbon atoms. And panty is used for five carbon atoms. And so on. For example, if an organic compound contains six carbon atoms, my dear students. Same is the case with this, my dear students. If an organic compound contains six carbon atoms, that's called as hex. Hex. Hex is used for six carbon atoms. Mark my students and jot down with me my dear students uh, so seven carbon if the compound contains seven carbon atoms my dear students we call that uh, i mean to say we call that compound as hapt hapt means because it contains seven carbon atoms so hapt is used for seven carbon atoms and eight carbon atoms are indicated uh, by writing oct my dear students oct oct and nine carbon atoms are indicated uh, by writing non my dear students and o and non non my dear students and same is the case with when an uh, organic compound contains 10 carbon atoms so 10 carbon atoms are indicated by using the prefix that is dac dac my dear students so first thing is you people have to identify the number of carbon atoms in a compound so for first for one carbon atom you people have to write meth for two carbon atoms you are supposed to write it for three carbon atoms you people are supposed to write prop and for four carbon atoms you people are supposed to write but for five carbon atoms you people are supposed to write pant and for six carbon atoms uh, we use the prefix hacks for uh, seven carbon atoms we use uh, hapt for eight carbon atoms, we use oct, my dear students. For nine carbon atoms, we use non, my dear students. And for dac, we use, I can say, for ca ten carbons, we use the prefix that's dac. So, first thing, uh, you people have to identify the number of carbon atoms in a compound. So, second rule. Second rule, which you people uh, have to look forward, is... Second is a saturated hydrocarbon containing single bonds is indicated by writing the word "an". An, my dear students, after the stem, after the stem. This is very important concept, my dear students. Second rule for writing the nomenclature of the carbon compounds is that you people, uh, if the uh, you if the Carbon compound contains only single bonds. You people have to write N after the stem. That means a saturated hydrocarbon. I told you people, hydrocarbons are of two types. One is saturated and another is unsaturated. Unsaturated means where uh, there is carbon-carbon double bonds and also there is carbon-carbon triple bonds. And whenever I talk about saturated, saturated are also called as alkanes and where there is a carbon-carbon single bonds. So the moment you people have to name the carbon compound you people have to i can say first identify the compound first you people have to count the number of carbon atoms my dear students mark my words my dear students you people have to kept these things in your minds then and then only you people can give names to the organic compounds so the second rule you people have to follow is that a saturated hydrocarbon containing single bonds single bonds because as far as uh, saturated hydrocarbons are concerned there is always the presence of carbon carbon single bonds so a saturated hydrocarbon containing single bonds is indicated by writing the word an and i told you people my dear students an a n e n this is an after the stem you people have to write an after the stem this is the second rule for writing the nomenclature of the carbon compounds my dear students so the first rule was a compound containing one carbon atom will be named as meth first rule was uh, that to, uh, you people have to first identify the number of carbon atoms after that a saturated hydrocarbon containing single bonds is indicated by writing the word and after the stem this was the second rule my dear students now the third rule now the third point is that my dear students an unsaturated hydrocarbon containing a double bond 
is indicated by writing the word in after the stem. For example, if there is, I told you people, saturated hydrocarbons are of two types. One is alkenes. Alkenes, my dear students. Alkenes. Saturated hydrocarbons are of two types. One is alkenes. Alkenes, my dear students. And another is alkynes. Alkynes. And in is used for in. E N E in is used for carbon, carbon, double bonds, my dear students. That means if the carbon chain is unsaturated, the final end from the name of the carbon chain is replaced either by in. In means uh, if the carbon chain contains one double bond or yine. If the carbon chain contains a triple bond, this is actually the third rule, my dear students. F second rule uh, you people have to uh, follow is that a saturated hydrocarbon containing single bonds, you people have to write in after the stem. The second, third rule uh, you people have to follow is that an unsaturated hydrocarbon containing a double bond is indicated by writing the word in. This is in. E and E in after the stem, after the stem. Stem means number of carbon atoms. That is stem. After identifying the number of carbon atoms, you people have to see whether the compound contains carbon carbon double bond or carbon carbon triple bond. After if the if the carbon chain is such a unsaturated, that is the final end of the name of the carbon chain is replaced either by in, in when, when you people have to write in when there is unsaturated but when there is carbon carbon double bond that means an unsaturated hydrocarbon containing a double bond is indicated by writing the word in after the stem in, in my dear students e and e means an unsaturated Hydrocarbon containing a double bond is indicated by writing the word in. After that, now the fourth rule is that an unsaturated or yine, if the carbon contains a triple bond, that means uh, uh, saturated, unsaturated hydrocarbons are of two types. One is saturated, another is uh, unsaturated means uh, one is alkene, another is alkyne. So an unsaturated hydrocarbon containing a triple bond is indicated by writing the word yine after the stem. Yine. Y N E yine. This is this yine. Yine. This yine, my dear students. So, uh, what you people mm, have to do? Firstly, you people have to identify the number of carbon uh, atoms. Second is, if uh, the carbon atom contains single bonds, you people have to write in. If the carbon atom, uh, if, if the I can say compound contains carbon carbon double bonds means where there is unsaturation uh, but carbon only the carbon carbon double bonds you people have to write in after the stem. This is the third rule. Fourth rule is an unsaturated hydrocarbon containing a triple bond is indicated by writing the word yine. So these were actually some of the rules. You have to follow these rules. After following these rules, then and then only you people can give names to the carbon and its compounds. So uh, uh, this was actually uh, these were actually some of the rules uh, you people have to follow uh, to give the names uh, to these uh, I can say carbon and its compounds. Uh, so, uh, in the next video lecture, my dear students, we will try to give names to the uh, organic compounds, rather carbon and its compounds. Hope you people enjoyed this. Uh, may Almighty Allah embellish you uh, with the sound of laughter and the sparkles of joy. Keep practicing, keep working hard and don't feel, I can say, demo demotivated. May Allah put you in cloud nine. Allah bless you all. Thank you for watching this.